Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video, or this week's video, will be a week in my life during exam season. It is currently 7am, I have my first exam at 1pm. I'm just going to do some exam practice questions now, even though I don't know the content, I don't have time to go through every single little bit of the content so i'm just gonna go straight to exam questions if i don't know it i'll learn through doing the questions i'm not gonna revise some parts of the course just because i don't have time like i'm not gonna really do it down your neck because i can kind of make that up because we've been doing it for the past four years but yeah with a couple of friends <laughs> okay i just finished my geography exam it wasn't the worst exam hopefully i did okay but there was an entire six mark about sub area processes i don't know what sub area processes are so i made that stuff up we had the test at the same time as further math students i used to take further math so i was really happy it wasn't doing that exam i'm just gonna go home now have lunch and then start revising my maths because god there's a lot to do It is currently midnight and I don't know any statistics. Hello everybody, today is Wednesday the 23rd of January, January, February and it's also my second day of exams so today I have maths. I had to go through like a lot, like nearly all of the two years content yesterday like really quickly especially towards the end so like I don't know how well the topic have actually like stuck inside my head. Anyways, I need to eat breakfast now. It's like too early in the morning. I like haven't had a lot of sleep. I literally slept at like 1 30 last night and couldn't fall asleep properly. So I'm running on like four hours of sleep. Hopefully I don't fall asleep during the exam because that is like the worst. I'm losing my voice. That's like the worst scenario but Okay. Do you want to say how the exam was? I feel kind of sad right now and I have no motivation to go home and revise. That's how I feel right We're now. We're gonna have comfort food. I think this this is a potential contend contender for what I will be holding my stationery in from now on. And in uni as well. Mm, uni. <laughs> and you don't really need uni. I feel like can't they just provide it to us when we get to But at this rate, <laughs> am I even going? <laughs> As I was like writing, <laughs> as I was doing the paper, I was actually thinking, am I even gonna get in into my insurance union anymore? Susan, we've got no, three no, we're gonna get we've got three months okay. to fix. No, I'm not it's gonna... just like if if, Listen, if exams are cancelled, then we'll. Oh no, one hundred percent. But exams won't be no, cancelled. Exams will not be cancelled. <laughs> oh my god, get this one. This looks weird. Blueberry yogurt and white chocolate. What are you getting? I think I'm gonna get anything. Let's go. Mock one done. Mock not... two done. Mock oh, two out of six. Mock two out of six, mock one out of six. Hello everyone, it's currently 3.30. I just woke up from a 40 minute nap because, God, like running on less than five hours sleep is not good, not good guys. During the exam today, I was struggling to focus and like my brain was moving really slowly. So sleep before you exam, guys. Don't last minute revise like I do unless some people can like function with like a few hours of sleep but I evidently cannot. It was also freezing in that exam hall. I was literally shaking like my, my entire body was shaking that. So now I'm just going to make a cup of coffee. Not coffee, sorry, tea. I do drink coffee occasionally but it's not good for my tummy. Okay, let's go. So 
it is currently 9 p.m. and I'm going to get started with econ revision. <laughs> doing all the topics i would stay up but i don't think anything is gonna go into my brain now so i'm just gonna go to sleep and wake up early but you know i'm still getting six hours of sleep that's not much but better than before my maths exam that was a nightmare i got like four hours of sleep and i did not focus but yeah i'll also be like reviewing on the bus and whatnot hopefully this exam goes well but for now i'll just be going to sleep now I'm wearing like four layers today because I do not want to be freezing like I was in that maths exam. But yeah, I'm just gonna go eat breakfast and then I wrote a list of things that I need to pass and look over, so I'm gonna do that. But yeah. I just finished my economics exam. I have loads of weight issues, I've probably got my heavy. Overall, the test. I feel like my revision yesterday was kind of wasted because the stuff I revised didn't really come up in the test. Because a lot of stuff that I didn't look over came up. So I kind of just waffled my way through that test. As in, it went okay in terms of like, I wasn't like really panicked. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with that test. Okay, I'm just gonna continue walking down onto the bus stop and then go home. And I don't know what to do first, geography maybe? Okay, bye. I don't really know how I'm feeling about this, but it's currently 7am and I'm going to get started and I'll basically just be doing maths today and my room right now is pretty messy so I'm just going to spend some time tidying up. to give a little update revision is going okay i'm not on track as usual but i'm feeling a little bit more confident with mechanics and stats which is kind of surprising because i always tell myself that i like stats more but maybe we'll start liking mechanics more i feel like it's a bit more logical like with stats you just have to remember things and do it but with my actually mechanics. The point is it's going okay. The only topic I'm not too confident with now is projectiles because I've been getting every question wrong but I still have time so I'm not really panicking or anything. I am just going to go back to revision and I will see you tomorrow. Morning everyone, today is Monday morning and I'm just about to eat breakfast. I only have one exam today which is maths. I don't know how I'm feeling but I'm not feeling nervous right now but I'm not feeling prepared neither unprepared. I don't know but anyways time to eat breakfast let's go. One here and I have now left my house and I'm just walking to my bus stop now. I'll just be reading over some topics on the bus but yeah that's mainly it. I'll see you guys after the exam I think. Hello everyone, I just finished my mechanics paper. So that's maths done. Like, it wasn't easy, but it was much better than the start. I actually ended up doing quite badly on both papers, and this paper was actually worse by around 10%, so jokes on me. 
overall you know it's done there's not much i can do about it anymore so i'm just gonna go home now and revise for geography which is going to be so much fun exam I didn't get much sleep because I slept like one or something so I had like five hours of sleep I don't know how this test is gonna go I don't know any facts right now but hopefully on the bus I can learn them because so I just need to know my case studies and I can like apply them to the questions so hopefully it goes okay it's a really short test it's only one hour and ten minutes and like 50 something marks which is good because it'll be done and over with but at the same time it means each mark is worth more as a percentage so yeah i don't know how i feel about it okay Hey everyone, I just finished my geography human paper. Overall, I will say it went okay. The first half was, I think, pretty good. Whenever I do a test, I always flip through it first to see what will be difficult. And I flipped to a 20 marker and I'm just like, it's not what I focused my revision on. And also the question was phrased. I don't know if everyone found it confusing, but I found the way it was phrased really confusing. It was asking about assess the role of local and national government decision making on regeneration in a rural or urban area. So when I first read the question, I thought it was telling us to assess between local and national, which it wasn't. I in fact wrote about the right thing, thinking it was the wrong thing. So I ended up doing better than I thought I would. And then I didn't realise the or. Well, by the time I had realised it was already like towards the end of the test, so I couldn't change it. So I don't think we'll be getting many marks for that. Hello everyone, today is the day before my final exam, my economics exam. It is currently 6pm and I'm just planning to go through all of the graphs. Things like, I don't know, why do firms remain small or like why do firms demerge or whatnot. That stuff, I kind of, well I'm hoping it's somewhere up here and I think it is. So I'm just going to go through like graphs, like taxation graphs, negative externalities, stuff like that. I haven't done a single time paper in the preparation of any of my mocks, which I would recommend but if you don't have time, just be like me and we just bullet point our answers. I'm just going to get started with the revision. Morning everyone, it is Monday, um, 6.50am. And it is the last day of exams now. My exam actually starts at one o'clock. I just have a couple of hours to do some last minute revision. I'm just gonna go eat breakfast now. I'll see you guys when I start revising. So I forgot to film an outro but it's nearly a month later and I've gotten all my papers back. I was very disappointed with maths, cried a bit after but it's okay because I know I have the ability to do better if I put more work in. I was pretty satisfied with both geography and econ, would have liked a high mark on econ but I know what my problems are so I'll just be working on that. But thank you all for watching and stay until the end and see you all in the next video.